Good evening, good evening, everyone. This is where I am Chap. I am Pastor Catherine from Chapel of Change Dallas. Welcome to our Sunday, our Monday evening spiritual warfare. This evening, I have with me Brother Danny, Sister Renee, and Sister Paloma, all from Chapel of Change Dallas. And this evening, I want to uh, read out of Psalms, Psalms uh, chapter one thirty nine, verses twenty three and twenty four. And it says, search me thoroughly, O God, and know my heart. Trust me and know my anxious thoughts and see if there is any wicked or hurtful way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Now, our hearts, they have many rooms and sometimes we can miss something in there. And just like our homes can get cluttered and we do our, our spring cleaning every year, Every day we have to do a spring uh, cleaning of our heart, cleansing of our heart through prayer. Because sometimes we miss spots or there's something deep and we miss it. So this evening, this evening, we want to come in agreement. And if anybody, if anybody has been feeling led to just lay everything down, if you've been led to have the Lord explore, to, to truly, to search your heart intimately, then we ask you to come into, into prayer with us. And if you have any prayer requests, we pray that you leave them in the comments because we want to pray with you and for you. So, Father God, this evening we come before you and we thank you for all that you've done and all that you do. We praise you this evening, Father God, for your grace and your mercy, Father. We proclaim this evening, Father God, that your word shall go out. Your word shall penetrate the, the hearts of your saints, the spirits and souls of your people, Father God. And those that have been struggling in the dark, they will come into your glorious light, Father God. We proclaim this evening more of your mercy, more of your grace, more of your love and your peace upon your people. And this evening we come against you, enemy, and we proclaim that you will have no more authority over God's people. We proclaim this evening that we are having the Lord search our hearts, search out anything that is not pleasing to him. And we are cleansing our hearts this evening. You have no authority. Your power and your authority have hereby been stripped and made null and void this evening. We proclaim that you must flee just as the Bible promises us when we stand on his word that you will flee. And we proclaim this evening that even though you may come at us one way, the word promises you will flee seven ways. And the word promises us that when that no weapon formed against against us shall prosper not one shall prosper we proclaim this we claim this promise in the name and the blood of jesus this evening and we command every spirit of sickness every spirit of a disease that you must flee this evening by the blood of jesus every spirit that is causing pain every spirit that is causing racing thoughts in his people you must flee this evening if you have been having those thoughts that are going round and round and round this evening, that you keep thinking the same things over and over, or the same kind of thoughts keep muddling up your mind when you're on a good path. He wants to speak into you this evening. He wants to let you know that you are not alone. We have all been in a place where our minds were muddled, were confused. But he says this evening, my child, I have given you not the power of fear, not the power of confusion, but I have given you the power of love, of peace, and of a sound mind. And he says, if you allow me to work in you, I will calm your mind so that you may continually hear my word, my voice, my calling to you. Allow me in, allow me to work in you and through you. And let me calm not only your mind, but your soul, your spirit. Because at this moment, you are wandering. You are wandering in the wilderness, in the desert, and you are seeking him. But he is saying, continue to go deeper. He is saying, open up completely and completely trust me. Only then can the power of, of salvation through faith truly work in your life. So, Father, we lift up our brothers, our, our sisters who are seeking you this evening. We are pray, Father God. We pray that you would continually work in and through them for your glory and honor, Father. We proclaim this evening, Father, our healing upon those hearts, Father God, that have been hurt, those hearts that have been broken, Father. For your word promises that you are close to the brokenhearted and you will heal up their wounds, that you will lift them up to a brighter place, Father God. 
And Father, we pray over all those whose minds are still in circles, Father God. We break that cycle this evening that enemy is causing them to be in. We break it this evening by the blood of Jesus and proclaim that sound mind upon them that you have given them, Father God. We thank you, Father, for all that you do and all that you've done, Father. We proclaim your grace, your mercy, your love, your peace upon them, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Praise you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. Father God, we thank you for this time, Father God. We thank you that we get to draw close to you, Father God, in prayer, Father God. We are thankful for your love, Father God. We are thankful for your protection, Father God. We are thankful for all that you have done and all that you are doing in our lives, Father God. Yes. Father God, I speak to those that are in the darkness, Father God. Those that are wandering, as Pastor Catherine said, Father God. Your scripture says that you will wander in Babylon for 70 years. And then I will come and do all the things that I have promised you and bring you home, Father God. And Father God, I send that word out to all those who are lost, Father God, who are wandering around in the dark, Father God, looking for the light switch, Father God, that you know the plans that you have for them, Father God. Good plans, Father God. Plans to prosper them, Father God. And Father God, I just ask that you pierce through the darkness, Father God. Pierce through the darkness of the enemy, Father God, and let your light shine to them, Father God, so they may follow, Father God. Father God, I pray against... All those that are under the emotional control of a spirit, Father God, emotional control of somebody close to them, Father God, that somebody that has used words, Father God, to demean them, Father God, to bring them down, Father God, and to create an image that is not a, of you, Father God. I break and bind every word spoken against, every word of control, every word that keeps someone in a depressed state, Father God. I pray against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, you have called your people to stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters, Father God. And us four, we stand in the gap, Father God. We are your soldiers, Father God. We stand on this wall and say nothing shall hurt you tonight by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father God, we just ask that your word go out through this platform, Father God. That every ear that needs your joy and love, Father God, it come to you, Father God. Come through you, Father God. Father God, I just ask you to lift up those that are depressed, Father God, those that are hurting and broken, Father God. Lift them up to your glorious light, Father God. Let them feel an intimate connection with your love this evening, Father God, through this platform, through these prayers, Father God. Let your love surround them, Father God. Let your compassion surround them, Father God, and remind them, Father God. That no matter what they've done, Father God, what mistakes they've made, Father God, that you still see them as beautiful and loved, Father God. That they are still chosen, Father God. That there is a purpose that was laid before the foundations of this world, Father God, that you have set for them, Father God. And Father God, I just ask you to lead us, Father God. I ask you to lead us in this time of hysteria, Father God, where there's so much hurt and pain in this world, Father God. I ask you to cover your people with the blanket of protection, Father God. I ask you to cover them and protect them against any forces, any dem <coughs> demonic spirits that may attack them, Father God. Yes. Father God, only you, Father God. Only you are in control of all things, Father God. You are on the throne, Father God. And we submit ourselves to you, Father God. I call to those that are struggling with submitting to you, Father God, struggling with letting go of parts of their lives, Father God, that are not in your order, Father God, that are not in your plan, Father God. I ask you to give them the power and the courage to let go, Father God. I command those chains to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus right at this moment. They are free. Yes, indeed, they are free in the name of Jesus. Father God, I just thank you, Father God, and we worship you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to give you thanks, Lord, for everything you do, Lord. I just want to keep praying over everybody, Lord, who, who needs you, Lord, who, who needs the strength to keep going, Lord. Those who don't know how to fight in battle, Lord, that they just keep pressing and pressing towards you, Lord. That they keep seeking you and looking for you, Lord. And when we feel weak, Lord, that we know that we can come to you and you give us the strength that we need, Lord. I just pray that anybody out there, Lord, and anybody and everybody who still has those 
temp, you know, in that temple that has those windows, those doors that still need to be shut, Lord. I pray that you keep leading them and showing them how to, Lord, how to close those windows, how to how to drive away the the evil, the demons, the bad, Lord. I pray that you know, as prayers, you know, that we just keep on praying for our people in the world, Lord. I pray that you just keep covering us, Lord, as we pray for those, Lord. Keep covering us from the bad, Lord. Keep covering us from anything that wants. It's covering of your love over us Lord. as we go through our days every day lord i pray that you keep our children safe from everything lord i pray for those out there um struggling in their marriages and their finances in their work environments lord i pray for all of those people out there lord for anything that's come destructed in their homes lord for their children and children's children lord i pray that you just keep an anointing and covering over over everybody, Lord. I pray that we keep on seeking you and everything, Lord, and that anybody who, you know, is out there who doesn't know you, Lord, that people we be planting seeds, Lord, that we be the light and showing people there is difference, there is freedom, there is healing, Lord. In your mighty name, there is all of that, Lord. So I pray that you just keep on showing us your greatness, your goodness, so that we can reflect who you are, Lord, that you keep shining through us so that we can reflect who you are. Showing people your love, Lord, that even when we want to step out of character and we want to be upset, Lord, that you just keep shining through us and that we keep showing your love, Lord, for our people, Lord, and that people just keep driving closer to you, Lord. I pray that, you know, for my children, for all of our Lord, that they can come closer to you, Lord, that they may know who you are, Lord, and know how to fight, that we fight for them, Lord, in prayer for anything that comes against our children, Lord. I just pray that you keep a mighty anointing over each and every one of us for Chapel of Change, Lord, that we keep on being soldiers for you, Lord, that we keep going out there in your name, in your mighty name, Lord, that we may never be ashamed to just write say who we serve, Lord, and who we love, Lord. I just pray all of this tonight, Lord, in your precious, mighty, mighty name. Amen. Yes, Father, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to come on here, Father God. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you, Father, for the pro proclamations and the prophecies that you have put upon our lips, Father. We thank you, Father, for the people that you have touched, the people that you will touch through this time, Father God. We proclaim this evening more of your presence to be not only upon each, each family represented here, but Father God, but those that they come in contact with, Father. We pray that as we go out, that we would that you would be upon us just as you were on upon Peter just as you were upon Paul father God that as we pass people will feel your manifest presence surrounding us father God and they will be drawn to your presence father not only as we walk father but we pray father we draw people be drawn into your house father every Sunday father God every time we're in the house people are drawn to you people passing by father God people walking by father God the children across the street, Father, the, the houses surrounding your church, Father God. Let the people be drawn into your spirit, Father God, into your presence, Father, into your house, Father God. That they may continue, Father God, in your ways, Father. And those that don't know you, Father, we pray that you would work in their hearts to continue, Father God. Continue working in their hearts, Father. And we pray for those who have hardened their hearts against you. We pray that you would take that, that, that heart of stone and we place it with our heart of, of flesh, just as your word promises you will do, Father God. We praise you for every prayer, every petition, everything that was lifted up to you this evening. Everyone online who ever all of our online family who has been praying and asking for certain things, Father God, we pray, Father, that not only through this life, but through their daily walk, Father God, that you would speak into them, speak through them, Father, and give them the answers that they seek, Father God, in your will, in your time, Father God, as you see fit, Father. We proclaim, Father God, for your word says that we do not receive because we do not ask, Father God. This evening we are coming before you. We are asking. We are seeking. We are knocking this evening outside your door asking for more of you, Father. We pray this evening that when you want to spend time with us, that you would wake us up, Father, in that early morning hour, Father God. 
that we may continue to press more into you, Father God, deeper into your spirit, into who you are. And we pray, Father God, not only for more of you, for, but for deeper revelations of your word, your truth, Father God. We pray this evening that as this word goes out, as this prayer goes out, your people, Father God, would see your spirit, would feel your spirit working in their lives, Father. Like, Father, we, we can, you would continue, Father God, to come through for them, Father God, for your people, for your saints, for your children, Father. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you in all that we have and all that we are, Father God. And just as your word says, we love you, Father, with all our might, all our mind, soul, body, spirit, all our strength, Father God. We thank you. We praise you. We worship you this evening, Father God. And in Jesus' mighty and powerful name, say amen. 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 Everyone, all of our online family, we want to thank you for joining us this evening. We thank you. We, we uh Invite you to come on back next Monday at 6.30 p.m. and join us again for another night of spiritual warfare. Go ahead and join us as well Sunday morning at 10 a.m. right here on Chapel of Change Dallas for another for our Sunday morning worship service. And we we love you. We love you. We love, love, love you even more so. Jesus loves you. We love you. God bless you. We pray you have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.